I'm not gonna cry. I said I wasn't gonna cry. Right? Yeah. No. I don't know. Anyway. We are gonna go today and get an x-ray because it is crazy. <laughs> Are we shocked? Update. The power of prayer is so real. I really love our house, don't get me wrong, but I'm like, is this too much space for us? There we go. Somebody's got a crush. <laughs> Somebody's got a crush. Welcome back to uh, another vlog, or welcome back to my channel. I'm trying to like fix this light. If you're new here, I am Shelly, your new favorite YouTuber. And if you have already been here, then it's just your favorite YouTuber. It is Tuesday, October 29th. It's about 8.30 in the morning. I just finished like cleaning up my space, took my shower. I'm about to do some skincare. I'm getting ready for the day because Leia has a doctor's appointment I think I told you guys in the last vlog Leah hurt her ankle and so now we are gonna go today and get an x-ray because if it was a sprain um, they said that she would be able to like walk on it without the boot but she still is unable oh, excuse my voice my allergies right now are pretty bad but she is still saying that it hurts when she walks without the boot they said if it doesn't heal within like 10 days and it's probably either a um fractured i think ligament or something or it could be a worse sprain than we thought so we have to go and get an x-ray and just make sure that it's nothing serious um, so we're up doing that. Her appointment's at 10. So we are gonna leave out in like the next 35 minutes. So I just wanna like pull myself together a little bit. I also am meeting up with my pastor later on today because I've been helping him with his social media pages. We've been meeting up like twice a month. The pastor, the pastor's wife, and one of our other members. And so I'm doing that later on today as well. And then I have a video that's going live and then I have a video that has to be edited to go up on the last day of the month. Or maybe, mm, I'm trying to decide if I wanted to go up on the last day of the month or if I just wanted to go live tomorrow. We'll see. But anyway, welcome back. That's the little rundown or update while I'm doing my skincare. And then I'm just gonna put some deodorant. I told you guys about this deodorant by Salt and Stone, the Neroleum Basil deodorant. It's my absolute favorite deodorant right now. I'm also going to squeeze in a little workout today when I can. So we got a pretty busy day. I work tomorrow, so I'm not going to like bring this vlog into tomorrow, but I have plenty of days off this week, which I'm so excited about. <laughs> Also, I really need to comb my hair out. I did my hair in wand curls like a week ago. I posted about it over on my TikTok if you don't follow me. At I am Shelly with two Y's on TikTok. But I wand curled my hair and then I combed the curls out like once it got, you know, old. And it looks so good so I'm going to comb them out again because I feel like they're locking up again. And it just gives like big hair, Diana Ross, <laughs> and I love it. 
need more layers on this side, but I'm just going to put on a little bit of makeup. I'm going to use this Ola Hamrickson under eye brightener. It's the Banana Bright Vitamin CC Stick. And I'm using the shade Apricot. And I'm just going to go under my eyes. My eyes were so puffy this morning. I've been waking up with puffy eyes like every day because of my allergies. My eyes are watering in my sleep. It is crazy. <laughs> I'm also just going to move over into my office. So I'm just going to grab my rings. So I'm just putting my jewelry on. I'm wearing gold jewelry even though I'm wearing gray today. One thing that I really love is the look of gray like clothing with gold jewelry. Especially like with my undertones, gold, I'm a gold girl. Gold looks the best on me. Whenever I wear a color that isn't like the most flattering on me, wearing gold jewelry helps to like offset that. So I'm gonna put on this gold necklace. More self-love charm on. One of you guys actually sent me the necklace that this charm comes on. And I have had it for years. I love it so much. And I'm just gonna put one of my double, one of my earrings in for my double hoop. I love a good earring stack. All right, I'm gonna go finish off my makeup in my office. I'm sweating in here. I don't know why my office or this part of the house is so hot, but my bedroom is not hot like this. So I don't know what's going on because Leah was complaining in her room last night that it was really hot. I've been really loving these things, the nude sticks stacks. So I'm thinking that I'm going to use maybe this one. Wait. Oh, I think I've already used this one before. So clearly I gravitate to the same colors. Maybe, and I've used this one before too, but I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one. This one is in the shade 4F1. I've already used this one before, now that I think about it on my channel. But I really, really like this color. And the way that the sun hits in my office early in the morning, or this time of the morning, is so good. Cause I don't even need to use any light. And I'm gonna fill in my brows. I'm just using this brow pencil by Merit. Refi brow gel. I'm just gonna bronze my face. just wearing this long sleeve oversized shirt from Target. I actually tied it up in the back and then this Skims slip dress underneath and then I'm just gonna put on my platform Uggs. I'm wearing my half moon bag and for fragrance I'm gonna wear Fenty fragrance. update the power of prayer is so real we prayed on the way <laughs> to the appointment and so it's just a sprain there are no tears no fractures no any of the things just a sprain 
um, she's still they they do want her to do physical therapy because it's not just like a simple sprain um, so they want her to do physical therapy so that she can be ready because preseason for track started which they her health is way more important what were you gonna say they mainly want me to do PT because of the sport that I do because it's a lot with my ankle. So they really want her to just do, you know, physical therapy to make sure that she's in tip top shape for track. They said, you know, her bones are really healthy in her leg. Like there are no concerns there. It's just the sprain. So they put her, they, they recommend that she gets out of the boot because Leah being in the boot, like it's hindering her. Honestly, and I understand exactly what he was saying, Leah, when he was like, I know. basically, like, staying in the boot, it's a hindrance. And she, it's keeping her foot, like, stiff. So she's not flexing those muscles and she's not moving her ankle around. She's not flexing it. It's staying at one spot, which is not giving it any time to truly heal. And so he put her in a brace and just recommends that she does, like, these little light uh, movements to be able to like help to heal it faster so I'm just really happy that nothing is like broken or fractured or anything like that because we can't have that for my baby okay but yeah so anyway that went well now um, we're in Starbucks now I'm gonna take Leia to school why Starbucks before. She thinks that she isn't going to school. We're going to no, take her to school. No, I don't school. care about going to school, but I want Starbucks. But earlier, you wanted to go to the stores. Okay. Okay, I know. But Because I want Summer Fridays. She wanted Summer Fridays lip balm. Pink sugar! Uh. But I'm like, no, you're going to school. So I'm going to take Leah to school, and then I'm going to head home, take Milo for a walk, and edit another video my other vlog just went live i see you guys are already enjoying it so um i'm gonna edit another video i also have a vlog that i need to edit um that i really want to go up on like november 1st right yeah no i don't know anyway i wanted to go up the first week of november and then we'll get started with this one so um it's still morning so you guys are pretty much just spending the morning with me i want to also go and get some like light activity in for the day so maybe i'll do that before i sit down and start editing i was gonna bring milo with me but milo has not been liking going on walks like long walks anymore he's just getting older and i think he's just over it i don't know but i would love to bring him with me on the walk today he just gives me a hard time sometimes so um, I want to do a little bit of light activity just get my body moving and um, maybe make something quick for lunch and then sit down start editing I'm gonna go meet up with my pastor pastors later I'm just happy that we got good news about Leah's ankle and it won't always be like this Oh no. But I was like, you can't do jit, you can't do pee, you can't do cheer. <laughs> just stopped into this place that used to be clean juice it's extract juicery now I asked him I'm like is clean juice over with I remember at one point like clean juice was every was the like it place to be so I asked him like is it over he's like no I think they still have some that are open but we switched over like a year ago so I was like oh <laughs> that was probably around the time because I think the last time that I came here it was like a, about a year ago so yeah but they switched over to extract juicery and i ended up getting a green juice it has pineapple cucumber celery mint and um kale it says that it's full of antioxidants and it's detoxifying so can't beat that but i need something fresh on my stomach mm, and it's so good oh my god the mint just does something for it 
Oh, it's so good. Bug, do you want to try it? Mm -mm. <laughs> I promise it's so good. Just taste it. No. Like a sip. If it's bad, you get me Skittles from this. If it's bad, I'm not giving you anything because I bought you Starbucks. You give me Skittles. Don't do that. Where's my drink? You are so dramatic. It's just literally, I just take a, took a bite out of cucumbers and lettuce and, <laughs> and everything green. It's good. Ew, it tastes like pickles. I hate pickles. <laughs> anyway, I also got an acai bowl. I haven't had one of those in a while. So, yeah, I need to stop at the bank. I need to get gas. I'm like completely out of gas I have like 24 miles which is crazy it is 78 degrees outside and I'm in Ugg boots I did not know it was supposed to be this nice outside today but I'm not complaining okay for it to be this hot at the end of October I feel like we should all be worried <laughs> hello yeah can you do that for me I'll pay I'm gonna pay the whole whatever the whole thing yours and mine if you do that for me, can you do that for me? And, and these people are really getting on my nerves about the telling uh, me $181 for them little toes. You gonna be home? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll bye. Come, uh, all right. Okay. Hey, hey, when Leia doing anything, she want to go uh, move my house with me? Ask her. Or I'll she, call her later on. Yeah, she's at school. She, uh, I'm sure she does, though. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay, what do you want? Both front and back. I can see you the front and back. Okay. All right. All right, bye. Um, but when I say my dad is teaching me patience, I thought Leah would teach me patience. My dad teaches me patience every other day. But no, it's fine. He called me because um, he got a notice. So my dad is on my iPass. I added him to my iPass like two years ago. He got a new license plate number. So before he came out here, because to get to our house, you have to take the tollway. So before he came, or the highway, um, before he came out here, he took the tollway, but he has a new license plate. So I'm like, you have to give me the new license plate number so that I can update it in this whole way. So he came before I updated it and they sent him notices. And one thing with Illinois, they don't play it. Like you, if you owe a tollway, they're gonna up that charge to like $20 per toll. A 70 cent toll will be like two, they'll, they'll add a $20 fee. So it'll be like $20 and 70 cents. So now he is freaking out because they're <laughs> threatening him. And I told him, all you have to do is call and tell them that you have a, an iPass. You just got a new license plate and you didn't get a chance to update or your daughter didn't or whatever. He's like, can you just do it for me? I always have to remind myself that my dad is the youngest and no matter how old they get, it never goes away. Here's my acai bowl. I'm finally able to sit down and eat it. And I almost never sit at the dining table, which I'm like, why don't I ever sit at the dining room table? Or why don't we? We always sit at the island unless there are people over then like other people i feel like sit here but leah and i always sit at the island i'm like we need to start utilizing all of the spaces in our home that's the reason why i'm like looking at other places to move because and just like downsize i really love our house don't get me wrong but i'm like is this too much space for us i don't know i don't know but yeah mm, it's so good i got the berry acai bowl with peanut butter drizzle on top the granola is fire this is like homemade granola mm. this is so good I'm giving myself a little break i've been staring at the screen for too long just posted this over on tiktok and i wanted to share it over here because i know some of you guys don't have tiktok i went over my finances you guys know i've been on like a savings plan hold on let me fix my <laughs> shirt. so i've been telling you guys for the last couple months that i've been on a savings plan and like paying myself consistently and i've also been tithing like tithes have been so major i'm um, hold on let me wipe these glasses back off blue light glasses are a total game changer especially if you sit in front of a computer screen i get the worst worst headaches whenever i don't have them on but 
I'll link some down below if you guys need some. Um, but anyway, so I was going over my finances. I'm like, okay, I need to like pay everything for next month, make sure that I'm all caught up. I'm one of those sticklers. Like I have to, all of my bills have to be paid like middle of the previous month for the next month, right? So I paid majority of my stuff almost two weeks ago. And then I had a couple things that needed to be paid today. Um, so I was like going over all of my stuff, over my finances, what I spent this month, what I saved, all, all the things. So I go over all my stuff and I'm like, now I know what's come in. I know like a few of the things that have come in this month, but there were a couple of surprises for me. When I tell you, I, I am not gonna cry because uh -uh. But when I say I released the burden of like my financial stresses, financial burdens, I released it all back to God. I said, listen, <laughs> I, I don't want it. It's too heavy. I don't want to carry it. You can have it. It's yours. Here you go. Like I literally handed it over. When I tell you this month alone, I have made more money on social media, just social media. That's not even including what I make from my jobs and all that, but on social media alone, I've made more money this month than I have any other month. And I've been creating consistently for the last four years. When I say I'm in shock, and I was saying this over on TikTok, don't let the enemy trick you out of your spot because the enemy will try to tell you that you're wasting your time, that you should give up. There are people who are better than you. There are people who are doing the same thing as you, but they're actually being rewarded for their efforts. Why are you wasting your time? These are all the things that the enemy will try to tell you. And it's not even just for content creation. It can be for business owners. It can be for employees. If you work at a company and you see other people get promoted who just started, you know, after you and you feel like you are more qualified for a position your efforts are not in vain what is for you will not pass you don't let the enemy trick you out of your spot sometimes things just aren't for you sometimes you need to be better prepared because what God wants for you is much bigger than what you thought that you wanted for yourself I'm really sitting here and I'm just like Lord you really did that and like when he says, all you gotta do is ask me. You guys, I'm not telling you this to boast or brag. I'm not, I'm not that type of person at all. I'm really just like, I need everybody to really feel me on this because I really need y'all to like hand over that financial burden is heavy. It's, it's time to put it down. I'm like looking over everything. I literally had to go back, go back and like review some stuff. Cause I'm like, and of course we tithe okay because what's given to me i know that it's not for me i'm gonna go ahead and make sure that i bless others but what i move money over into my savings account and i'm like i haven't had this much in my savings account in so long i'm not gonna cry i said i wasn't gonna cry somebody anybody i hope this reaches you because the enemy will try to trick you the enemy will try to tell you it ain't for you it ain't gonna happen give up you might as well give up Mm -mm. don't fall for it <laughs> i almost did i almost gave up i almost said you know what i don't know why i'm wasting my time and i just got confirmation and reassurance on something else that i've been working on and towards and i've been procrastinating and i saw somewhere procrastination is the spirit of poverty and i'm like lord no <laughs> so i will not be procrastinating any longer <laughs> but i just want to share that with y'all because wow and I hope you receive it. And now I'm about to go for a walk and spend some quality time with God because I gotta get some activity in anyway. I told y'all I've been consistent with that. So I'm gonna go for a walk and then I have to go and meet up with my pastor in about an hour and a half, hour or so. So let's go. I'm just gonna go walk around my house. Um, I was gonna go on the trail, but Leah's gonna be home soon. So I'm just gonna go for a walk around here. I'll bring Milo with me, then we'll go meet up with pastors. I haven't vlogged for a few hours. Currently leaving from the church, I went to go meet up with my pastors. I told you guys that earlier. Now I'm about to pick Leah up from the house because we're gonna go out to dinner tonight. I really, really had a taste for sushi. We haven't had sushi in a very long time. And our favorite sushi spot is not too far from the house. So we're gonna go um, and get sushi and just like hang out, talk, 
all the things we've been spending a lot of quality time together which i'm so happy about like i love that and i just like to soak up the quality time anyway with leia because you know how it is like eventually she's gonna get older she's gonna go off and you know do her own thing live her own life and the reality is at some point in life we won't spend as much time together as we do now so i just like to soak it all up so i'm gonna grab her from the house and then we'll head to go get sushi i'll bring you guys along for that because i know i didn't bring y'all earlier like i was supposed to that was my bad ready for dindin ready for dindin <laughs> we are at wow sushi you guys it's um they have like different locations i want to say but this location is in algonquin i have my actually i'm just gonna bring my bag Mom, now why did Diana send me a video talking about, look how windy it is. Wait for my car keys. My keys, my purse, and my phone, and my I camera. Got I got the We're going to Wow Sushi right here, which is next door to Clean Eats. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hello. Hi. For two? Yes. You guys, I've been filming in the wrong wrong setting. I've been I filming totally in the wrong know. setting all day today. I told her to film on this one. No, you told me to film on the other one. No, I said this one looks nice. No, she didn't. <laughs> she said this one. Hold on. Let's go to the other one. See, this is the one she said with a wider angle. Yeah, I like it. It's fine. I got the dynamite roll in case. Anyone wants to try it? Um, it has cream cheese, white fish, avocado, fried, and it's topped with baked crab meat, scallop, and eel sauce. And it's supposed to be good, but I haven't tried that one yet. But the one that I usually get is the Godzilla roll, and it's fire. Let me see if I can find a photo of it. This one? Yeah, it's right here. It's this one. It's fried also and it's really good. I forgot. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, that's not it. I forgot. Okay. Mmm. You guys. <laughs> This is fire. Mm, fire. Okay, we're done eating. Food was delicious, you guys. I was oh, that's embarrassing. Cracking up laughing. <laughs> I was cracking up I laughing. I wasn't listening to that. Leia was um. I let Leia try wasabi for the first time. Look at my face. Oh. She was so mad. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so our server, he was so nice. He kept asking me, he's like, where are you from? He's like, New York, California, Los Angeles. Where are you from? Where are you from? He kept asking. So he kept asking questions. He's like, oh, are you like sisters? He, he was like, is that your mom? I was like, yeah. He was like, you sure? <laughs> he was like, are you guys sisters? And I was like, no, my daughter. He's like, you don't look old enough to have, like, you don't look old enough. He's like, how old are you? And I was like 34. And he was like, so he looked at, he looked at Leah and he's like, is that your mom and she was like yeah and he was like are you sure and she was like yeah i hope <laughs> and then he was like what did he say what did he say to us Leah? i forgot he literally thought that she was like from california or yeah he was like where are you from but also like, you were yelling you i mean yelling. i was yelling you were wearing yale Oh, I was, yeah, I, he saw my Yale sweatshirt and he was like, in California or something. He was like asking, he kept asking if I was from California or New York. And then I was like, no, I'm from Chicago. And he was like, oh, you look different. 
Leia said he she thinks he meant what did what did you say? You meant like he meant like you're not from Illinois. Like you don't look like you're from Illinois. Yeah, and I was like, what's that supposed to mean? I think it was a good thing. It, I think he meant it as a good thing, but like But also he barely knew English. So his words probably were Alright, I'm gonna cut the camera because <laughs> I mean, so does he. And then Leo was like, somebody's got a crush. Somebody's got a crush. She was like, she was like, asking all them questions. <laughs> asking all them questions. Why are you asking all them questions? Making, Making statements? statements? Assuming? Oh, oh you got power. <laughs> Stepping out of the shadow in my room Caught between cowboy clouds and misty moon Silver dress, sparkle eyes, crystal blue It's a new day in the vlog. So hi guys, welcome back to another day. I didn't vlog at all yesterday. So today's Thursday, happy Thursday. Um, I had work yesterday and then we went to church. By the time we made it home, it was already late and wasn't really much to vlog. So this morning I got up, I had a really slow morning today which felt really good um and then i ended up like getting some stuff taken care of kind of picked up the house uh, wiped down counters tables you know stuff like that uh, really just to sort of pull the house together i was gonna say for the weekend but honestly this is something that i do like every other day um i'm gonna vacuum today too because i really want to vacuum this level and upstairs and i kind of want to wash the couch cushions too i'm looking at the couch cushions and i'm like it's probably time for me to go ahead and like wash them pretty soon. I'm gonna be decorating for Christmas, which is so crazy to think about. Today's the last day of October. I'm just like, where's the time going? It's literally getting away from us. And which brings me to something that I was like thinking about this morning. I woke up this morning, I read my word. I'm actually in Matthew. So I finished up last night, which I was supposed to finish Proverbs today, but I ended up finishing up last night because Proverbs is just so good that I, never want to put it down so i finished it last night i started up with matthew this morning i might do like a chapter in matthew every day and then do a chapter in psalm every night which is what i'm thinking that i want to do because i really do want to fully like i've been fully tapped into the bible reading different translations and just everything i'm really finally at the point where i'm thoroughly enjoying it i understand what's going on i'm no longer intimidated i don't feel you know weird about talking about it um like i don't know i just want to share in everything that i am learning and you know just constantly like growing and um just like constantly evolving and honestly elevating and I, I just i'm excited to bring you guys along for like the journey and everything that i'm doing i have a favorites video that i really want to get edited and uploaded either tonight or tomorrow once i'm done with that then i want to start up on the vlog because i really like november is the it's like no bs november like i'm going in and i'm doing what needs to be done okay I, i'm not playing like me hearing procrastination is the spirit of poverty was probably the best and worst thing for me because now i'm like i'm not playing no games like i have to get it done and so that's what we're doing so i have a lot of work to do you guys i'm like working on this business plan that i'm just like i don't even want to talk about because i'm just like let it happen and once it's ready then we'll talk about it then we'll launch it and all will be well so i'm not gonna go too much into it but i am really i'm just like so excited about what is to come and i'm finally feeling like i'm walking in my purpose i've been 
focused today. <laughs> I was having a conversation with my cousin not too long ago and um, she was saying, you know, she and I were talking about like all that's going on. I was telling her how Leah went to church with me yesterday. So on Wednesdays, Leah would usually have something going on or I would leave straight from work and go to church, which I go to church on Wednesdays for Bible study. And um, Leah mentioned that she wanted to go with me. And I just, I don't know, I just thought it was such a beautiful thing because yesterday she comes down the stairs and she has her pen and her highlighter and her Bible. And, you know, she went to Bible study with me and she's sitting there and she's highlighting scriptures and she's, you know, just like reading on her own. And I'm like, you know, it just goes to show like we really are our children's inspiration. We are um, influencing even when we don't realize it or when we don't want to believe it or when we don't think we are or whatever the case is and I'm like that was just so special to me like I was like glancing over at her while because she was sitting next to me while we we're at Bible study and I'm glancing over at her and like watching you know looking at what she's highlighting and the parts that she's reading and I'm like so proud I'm so happy I just love it so much so yeah yesterday <laughs> that's what we did um work was work <laughs> happy about the fact that i have a job i'm grateful for my job uh it just wasn't anything exciting to talk about so i'm like trying to catch you guys up on what you guys would have missed which i mean like i said it wasn't too much and uh so yeah today is a new day all i'm doing today if i'm being honest is work on the computer i'm actually thinking about starting up a new vlog tomorrow because tomorrow is friday and i could do like a little weekend vlog even though i work on saturday Sunday is the 21 year anniversary of my church. Um, so if you guys don't know, just to give a quick little backstory, my church that I currently go to is actually the church that I used to go to back when I was pregnant with Leah, once I had Leah, up until Leah was maybe seven or eight, maybe even later than that. I wanna say, yeah, it was maybe like seven or eight or nine, I don't know, but we went to that church for a very long time and then I stopped going for like my own personal reasons and shame made me feel like I didn't want to go back but I was literally pulled back like God like pulled me back in and I'm like okay okay so that's the church that I am back at it's Faith Walk in Carpentersville Faith Walk Harvest Center in Carpentersville if you are interested or if you live in the area and you want to come and visit and check it out faith walk harvest center like i said i think i might just end off the vlog today and then we'll start up a new one tomorrow and for the weekend i have some content that i want to post on instagram today is like the windiest day in chicago history it's windy it's rainy it's gloomy so i'm like i really do not want to leave the house and i really don't have a reason to i also got an order which is i think the reason why i even started the vlog up you guys probably saw me unbox but i ended up ordering coloring books you guys this one is the stress relief bold easy coloring book and then i ordered the cozy girl coloring book i just thought this was like so cool the photos are pretty big but okay so when i was younger and this may be when my artistic side really or creative side really kicked in but when i was younger coloring and drawing was like something that i really enjoyed i'll never forget one of my art classes back when i was in like elementary school i drew an air force one and it was the most detailed air force one <laughs> like it literally was so good especially for my age at the time it was so good and my teacher actually wanted to keep it so he like kept it in the class hung up for like the longest time i think i want to say until the end of the school year i wasn't able to get it back because he just loved it so much so um i don't know i told myself that i'm just gonna tap back into the things that i used to love when i was younger the things that i used to enjoy one of the things that i used to be really good at when i was younger and i've been thinking a lot about it lately is rollerblading and i remember one year my mom actually bought me rollerblades because that's how much i used to love skating and so i don't know i've been thinking about that like I might get back into like tap back into skating. I wish we had like a skating rink super close to my house so that I could go and like practice and stuff. But um, there's one that isn't too far. There's no excuse. So I've been thinking a lot about that too. But I ordered these coloring books because I used to really love like coloring and drawing and all that. So I ordered color pencils too, but they're not going to be here until tomorrow. So I figure like these, this is something that I can do like late at night or whenever I'm feeling overwhelmed or anxious or want to do something, but I can't like, you know, set my mind to one thing. I can color. 
<laughs> so I'll link these for you guys. I'll create like a whole like self-care. I think I have a self-care section on my Amazon storefront. So I'll put these on there for you guys as well as like the coloring pencils that I ordered. And then I also bought another pair of sunglasses. Are we shocked? I'm sure you're not shocked. I ordered these because they are, here, let me show you. These are so, so fire for winter stop i'm thinking this is what i'm thinking oversized black trench coat pea coat whatever you want to call it oversized black black turtleneck underneath or like mock neck um we can even do we can even do some wide leg not slacks what do i want to call them like trousers some black trousers with some black loafers my prada bag hair pulled up into maybe a messy bun i don't know i don't know but i'm yeah are you kidding me these are so good i'm gonna have them linked in my amazon storefront i also ordered another pair of maroon sunglasses so once those come which i think they should be here tomorrow maybe monday they're arriving on monday so once they get here then i will show them to you guys but so good right all right anyway let me get to work i love you guys don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and I will see you guys on the next one.